Hello everyone, I'm Dan Church, creator of Fly Inside FSX. I'm going to demo the latest functionality I've been developing, virtual desktop support with Leap Motion integration. FSX isn't just a video game, it's a full flight simulator. With thousands of airports, you might want to create a flight plan. The airplanes are complex, you may want to follow a tutorial. For longer flights, Netflix can be a nice addition. Nobody wants to take off their virtual reality headset and put it back on over and over again to follow a tutorial. That's why I'm developing virtual desktop support. You can take any program running on your computer and use it inside Fly Inside. You'll see that I have the Chrome web browser running inside my CRJ700. I can click, scroll, and type, all from inside the cockpit. It's very easy to navigate tutorials, sectionals, play videos, and anything else you need while you're flight simming. The same virtual desktop support applies to in-game dialogues like the ATC window. You can talk to air traffic control without taking off your rift, just point and click all in-game. While it's already great being able to click around in rift, I've been working on something even better, leap motion integration. Using the Leap Motion sensor, you can see your hands, interact with dialogues, and interact with the cockpit, all without using a mouse or controller. As a few of you have mentioned, the Leap Motion does have limitations. It sometimes mixes up individual finger positions, and the sensor has limited range. Fly Inside takes a unique approach in order to address these limitations. First off, you'll see that each hand controls a stylus. Rather than worrying about individual fingertips, the stylus is controlled by your entire hand. This eliminates a lot of error and makes the stylus very accurate. To address the limited range of the Leap Motion sensor, I've added a hand movement scaling factor. For every inch that your physical hand moves, the in-game hand travels multiple inches. This lets you reach far away switches while keeping your hand in the leap motion sweet spot, and helps to reduce arm fatigue. It may sound strange, but it's actually very natural feeling and easy to get used to. Using the hand controlled stylus, you can interact with the virtual fly inside windows. No need to use your mouse, you can click links and navigate web pages using only your hands. The same approach works for the ATC window, and the cockpit itself. I'll experiment with using individual fingertips and gestures in the future, but for now I wanted a simple, reliable input solution that users can experiment with and provide feedback on. I'll also, of course, be improving the hand models, but at the moment I'm focused on the input solution itself rather than the graphics. If you haven't tried Fly Inside FSX, download the free alpha preview and take off with your favorite plane. It's a blast. If you enjoy Fly Inside FSX, please help development by backing the Kickstarter. These two cool new features will be going out to early access beta testers sometime this August. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Now go enjoy some virtual flight.